keep my head out of the way.
<laughs> I mean, it's, been a, it's been a while. Two years ago, uh, we, we lost Malcolm Atterbury. Yeah. He, he died, and uh, uh, they asked me to speak in some words. I remember. And I, and I looked and I said, and, uh, I, I know that Malcolm he, he started teaching at Claremont High School back in 1970. 24, 23 years ago. A long time. And my colleagues said, you better start such a man. That's 32 years ago. <laughs> So anyhow, it's been a long time that you're here and that's the time. Thank you for your participation.
Come on over here, Scott.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do a second song. We're going to attempt to do Teddy Bear. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, okay, we're ready. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> I'd like to introduce the rest of my band. What do you guys want me to introduce? You met each other? That's good. Mr. Richard Martinez, who was the band director at La Puente High School. After he, after he left here, he was uh, the teacher of the year in 1981 of the district, and he beat Los Altos and Jonathan, before Jonathan was there, Glen A. Wilson High School, and won the Street Stakes Award for the district. But his, his band was one of the best marching bands in the world here. Uh, he, he substituted for me one summer, and he took, took one day of my class. And uh, I said, the next day, he went and came back, and I said, what, what did you learn? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. He said, well, no, we learned one thing, the first step. He would say, forward, march, take one step, one. Toes aren't up and up. Go back, do it again. One. Now the heels aren't down. Now look at the angle of the shoes. One. Go back, do it again. One. And they never got to the second beat. <laughs> but they sure took a good first beat. And it was clean. Mr. Jim Ives, the reason he got solo is he's been our, our, our brass instructor for many years. And he's never had a solo. And I was going to take the solo on uh, Summer of the Rainbow, but I, I gave it up for Jim, good old Jim. And he deserved it, because he played it really well. And then we have uh, Don Adams on the, on the guitar. And I didn't know he played guitar. He was a trumpet player. He used to miss his B natural too. And, uh, and so he was a nice surprise here. On bass is Chip Clockley. And he, he tunes his guitar to fifth, to the fourth, so that they're like a the cello. And he, he, he pretends that he knows what he's doing. And he's really playing the cello on the, on the bass, but he does a really nice job. On the, and I want to tell a story about his mother. Uh, <laughs> Cecilia Clothley, raise your hand. She, she teaches German in a private school in Pasadena. And she took her class to Vienna one year. And I was there with El Camino College. We went to the Maribel Gardens. And we had our, uh, I had a recital to go to. And we had our choice of going down three walkways. On the outside left, center, and the outside right. But we always went down the center. And I, I told my class, you know, this is boring. We got to go over to the left. So we started walking down the walkway, and all of a sudden this, I thought it was a homeless lady, <laughs> came jumping up and screaming at me. 
And I didn't recognize her because she had her jacket on with a hood on. And it was Cecilia Cosley. <laughs> and she and I met, and it must have been destiny, because we had our choice of three ways to walk down, and I took the left one, and there she was with her class. And she's the second m most uh, small world story that I tell. And it was really something that she heard. So that's, that's Chip, her, her son on the bass. And then on the drums we have Rebecca. And she, she brought the, the thrill of the moment today at a rehearsal when she played cowbell. <laughs> and it was the most exciting cowbell I've ever heard. <laughs> I've always wanted to play cowbell for Santana. And, but she came in and my gosh, what a thrill that was. That was exciting, Rebecca. And we have Mr. Jonathan Chang on drums. <laughs> I didn't know he could do a drum roll. And he does. He's good tempo. Who have I forgot? Oh, Bruce. Bruce, our piano player. He's the ringer. He's, uh, he's, he's a, uh, a former college mate of mine. We went to USC together, and he was over there from Rhode Island, the great state of Rhode Island, 30 miles long. And he came over and worked on his doctorate degree there. And he has an ear. If any of you need any music harmonized, he's got the ear and he's here with us. And he used to be a piano player for an Elvis imitator. So he, he's welcome to our group here. And so that's our band. And we're going to do one more number for you.
chicks out there. I gotta get towards the water. <laughs> coming to visit but what I want to thank Mr. Eda for and I'm sure all of you do too is the lessons he taught us over life he has had probably one of the most single biggest influences on our lives other than our own parents and sometimes greater than our own parents grateful I am to be here and to enjoy this with Mr. Ida and everyone else, all my colleagues and band member friends and high school friends. Uh, I have yet to make a single reunion, whether it's band or high school or a single gathering because we do spend a lot of time away. And so I'm very grateful and deeply indebted to Mr. Ida for having it during a time when we could take part. And I also say there's other people that would have liked to have come. Uh, Cindy Merriweather, now Cindy Snell. Mark Hushley, and uh, it's amazing seeing the people we looked up to. Every, every group that comes through the band has a, the, the seniors and the people they look up to and learn from, and then their cohorts in crime, and then those that learn from you. And I looked up to the likes of Jamie Pavey, Gary Hinkle, Jerry Felix, they were our mentors and corruptors. And, uh, 
and my cohorts in crime, Mark Ushley, Jeff Polly, Mark Hatch, Brian Burks, and uh, there's those that uh, we uh, probably influenced and, and affected after that, which uh, I, God only knows who they are. <laughs> Vance Hatch. <laughs> and, uh, and we also learned uh, the life skills from uh, Mr. Ida. He taught us discipline. He taught us value. He taught us morals. He taught us how to fear of getting caught, how not to get caught. <laughs> I knew too and, uh, much about that. Of course, he probably, like any parent, knows everything we did anyways. Uh, just didn't say it. So, again, thank you, Miss Rita, for giving us a lifelong experience. That concludes this evening. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate all your concern and your, your, your attendance. Thank you very much.